sexy. I need it. I need it. Oh. Yo, you either be the full paper bag or none of the paper bag. Everyone's got a nipple. Just sort of let you know. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to. Not on my watch, sweet fang. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my second last Super Haul Sunday of the year. That's crazy. Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening to you all. So, today I'm going to be doing one that is topical to the season. When I think of said brand, I think of night out, party vibes, dressiness, all of the above. Now, we know I don't go out too often, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that on Thursday night, I actually went out. I know, it's a Christmas miracle. Don't mind dad just outside making some ruffling noises. But today's haul is actually going to be an O Holly haul. And I always think of like those really sexy O-Poly Instagram model girls and we're going to see if I can try and do that vibe. If you can now hear footsteps, that's because Anya's now come. But I am in the dining room, so I can't really complain. So yes, I've gotten very extra with the makeup look. This is why I don't film downstairs. So yes, before I was rudely interrupted, I went very extra with the makeup. I don't know why. It's the Huda Beauty palette on the eyes and Huda Beauty liquid lipstick on the lip. But basically, I used to literally sit there for like three hours and do my makeup and loved it. And I just felt like de-stressing and doing it. So yes, anyway, I'm gonna grab the O'Poly pieces. This video is not sponsored in the slightest. Nana, that's not a thing. Uh, they did let me pick out some pieces, um, but it's my choice whether I want to feature them, do a video, say what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna zig a zig. <sighs> so yes, now, I feel like Mr. Postman, I don't know who delivered this, but it's, so ripped. So I haven't opened any of them. I will find out if I love the pieces with you guys. We can find out what we don't love. Alfie, you're not going outside because the front door's open because dad's taking out the rubbish pre-Christmas. Anyway, so I'm not actually gonna, mm, shall I start with this piece? I mean, I've got it in my hand, so I may as well. Alfie, no, no. Apologies, the dog tried to run out of the front door. Not on my watch, sweet fang. So, first things first. Oh, also, I know when you guys are watching this, you're like, uh, but Misha, we can't get them for Christmas anymore because, you know, it's basically like nearly Christmas Eve. Well, you can get them for New Year. So, I asked them what is their last date of postage for New Year's Eve, and I'm pretty sure it was the 28th. But let me check my emails because you know, I've got your guys' back. I wanted to know so that you could be all glitzy and glam for New Year's because that's like my idea behind this haul and these outfits. 28th is the last order date for New Year's Eve. Alfie, you're not going outside. Sit your butt down and let's get on with the first piece. Now, ooh, bougie packaging. Hello. It says one in a million. I am one in a million. I know that. Thank you very much, O Polly. Okay. We've got tissue. Now, this piece is actually kind of what I wore last year on New Year's Eve. So, me and Chloe, my Scottish best friend, how I always refer to her, Soz Chloe, um, went out in matching ones of these tops. I love this, like, Kendall mesh like liquid fabric. I think it looks so expensive. I love it. This one I'm actually noticing is much more secure because if you don't know my New Year's Eve story, spoiler alert, my top ended up snapping. It was not from Opoly. It was from some, I don't even know where. Um, so my non-existent boobies came out to the whole entire of my area, but you know, it's fine. I really don't care. Like it's a nipple. Everyone's got a nipple, just thought I'd let you know. 
So, yes, okay. This is more secure because it's got three along. It's got three attachments that you attach at both sides. So, if one of them goes, you've got two, uh, two others to rely on. Now, I didn't just get this silver top. I actually got a matching skirt to go with it. So let's try and find it in my box of goodies. Also, love these little bags though, Polly. Very nice packaging. I feel like these ones are so carefully packaged because they are quite delicate. So I can have a little matching curve ward. I feel like I might end up wearing this. Not that I even know what I'm doing for New Year's Eve at this point. Um, if anyone's having a party, let me know, invite me. Thank you very much. They also have this little like squidgy thing to keep it safe. Okay, hello, okay. So, it's literally like a curtain of metal, has some hooks, again, very secure. And then, oh my god, look, it has more hooks along. They are really thinking of you guys. Uh, well, me. And then it has this little diamante belt that goes round. Oh my god, this is going to look so cute. At least, I hope it does. I feel like it will. I'm going to do, like, silent try-on clips because I know that this video will be so long. Otherwise, it's literally already, like, over five minutes and we are one slash an outfit in. Ooh. We're going for another co-ward outfit situation. Now, okay. This is batch number A. That's not a number, that's a letter me. So, ooh, the fabric, hello. Oh, and that little co-ward I got in a size small, and I will link all the pieces down below if you wanna check them out. So, we love a good bougie tag. This one is in a size six. And this is the top. Oh, okay, so it's one of those that, like, oh my god, that colour is stunning. Look, that doesn't go with my lipstick, but I feel like it does go with the eye makeup. So swap this out for a bright pink lip and Bob's your uncle. So it's like a that fabric, a sucky fabric. That's like what I call it. It's long sleeved and then basically you wrap the top around your boobs, which I think is good because you could get a size six and have minus A cup, me, or you could get a size six and you could be a double D and this gives you the flexibility to work it around your body shape. So love that. Oh, I've got an itch. Okay, then we've got the skirt. Now this is a little maxi skirt. I don't know if you can see, it's got this like ruching detail that goes down to a slit. Now, okay, I am noticing that Opoly is really thinking about us because they've got an inbuilt little like mini skirt to keep your modesty, like so you don't flash anyone. Like fair play, they've actually thought about everything. They've also got along the side bits so that it stays up, that weird like tacky stuff that doesn't like feel sticky, it just makes it stay upright. And also the skirt's kind of like lopsided. So in my mind, I think that will make my waist look smaller because it'll be like an optical illusion. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Because it's not that I don't, like, my waist is an okay size. I just don't have any hips to, like, create that hourglass shape. I'm not an hourglass, am I, Dad? Dad, when I was brick. growing up, used to call... Yeah, see? Brick! He just said it. I'm a brick, apparently. Love him. Uh, but, yeah, this is just, like, a maxi skirt with a slit. So, yeah, that looks so expensive. And I remember this one was, I think it was, like, £45, which really isn't bad for what is basically a maxi dress. And of course, you can wear the pieces separately, which is kind of just makes it half the price. So, Brill O. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm dropping things. These are going to be so hard to show you until you see the try on clip. And they kind of match this chair, but they had the most beautiful orange and like creamy um, satin trousers. You know, I love me a good trouser. And they have a paper bag waist, which is something that I have learned to love in 2018. Love. Um, and yeah, and then it's got these little like belt loops and it does have a belt and then it just goes down to long sleeved, long sleeved, long legged trousers in this beautiful orange and they're a bit of a flare now these are in a size eight and i probably would have picked them in a size six but they didn't have them uh so i was thinking 
it's fine because it's a paper bag waist so that just means there'll be that little bit of excess fabric that I can snatch and like create more of a ruffle because I don't like when a paper bag waist is like a semi paper bag I'm like yo you either be the full paper bag or none of the paper bag so we're being full paper bag um, I can't wait they're such beautiful quality like fair play but they're also not like heavy I hate when trousers are heavy and you literally feel like you're like on a run somewhere um, and these are delicate wash at 30 degrees do not tumble dry do not bleach iron on a low heat fabulous okay yeah i won't be ironing these <gasps> wait wait oh my god yay they have pockets oh my god i was like if these don't have pockets i'm actually gonna take back everything i said about them thinking about us but no they actually have pockets that's Brillo. so yeah those are stunning oh and it does have a zip at the front so you can get in and out and shake it all about and do the roly-poly and turn around Alfie's looking at me so strangely right now I know dog I know nothing new here next up as we're on like the pant suit wagon let's say I've got these now this I feel like you could wear dressy and you could wear casual. I'm not quite sure how I plan on. Like, I'll see when I have an occasion. But it's ultimately a jumpsuit that is made out of this grey ribbed fabric that me and mum have been obsessed with. And, like, literally anything in this fabric, mum's like, I need it, I need it. I'm like, mum, you've got too many midi skirts now. So, yes, it's a long sleeve, sort of, like, cut-out bodice bit that then goes down to the flared grey trousers, such good quality. Then it has a belt bit attached. And I got this in a size six. And this is the grey, they also had the nude. I personally preferred the grey, mum preferred the nude, but I just felt like, I feel like grey is such an under, what's the word I'm looking for? underrated that's the one underrated color and i really really like it but no this is beautiful and it'll be nice and stretchy which we like that's why ribbed fabric is so brilliant i remember everyone used to hate ribbed fabric it was like the devil oh it also has little ties on the wrist oh that's a really nice detail that makes it look a bit more expensive fair play oh polly fair play this next piece i think i might give to anya it's got the sis in mind so, here we go. This is a OMG dress. Like, this is an OMG dress if I've ever seen one. You know if you're going somewhere, and I mean, I've never had this, but let's just paint a story for you all. Let's get comfy, it's story time. Say you were going somewhere and you knew your ex was gonna be there this is the sort of dress that you would wear even if you don't want them back you got dumped them you got rid of them you still want them to be like oh god and they are gonna be like oh god in this dress it's really hard to show you but it's basically got my favorite word basically dad literally has a go at me all the time for saying it so it's got wired inbuilt cups, a bit like a bra. Then it's got this lacy fabric over the top. It's got a cutout here with the lacy. Then it's got black satin that goes down. And then at the sides, it's got black mesh. I feel like when you say all of that together, it sounds like it would be disgusting. But in my mind, I mean, I'll try it on. But in my mind, and it's gonna look like a 10 out of 10 in it, so that's fine. Um, and yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. The satin also has a bit of a stretch to it, which I really appreciate because I feel like satin can be very restrictive, which we don't want. Also, you know, I said about them thinking about us, we've got, uh, what are these called? Adjustable straps. Then also it is a midi length. So I feel like that's good because a lot of the top half is gonna be out. So I feel like you need the bottom half to maybe be a little bit more. But, you know, if you want to get everything out, then you do you, boo, your body. Um, I'm probably going to put some chicken fillets on with this because I feel like it would be quite nice to, you know, like, sometimes it's nice to have boobs. Like, 
fake it till you make it. I can stick in some chicken fillets and I've literally got a boob job in like 0 0.3 seconds. It's the best thing, but no, this is stunning. I'm obsessed and I'm not normally really a black person, but um, I thought because like all the sexy little details, I feel like it, it wakes up for it. Wakes up, makes up. They also do that in a maroon as well. Ooh, we've got another orangey, crimson, rust color. I love how rust is such a nice color, but like the word rust is disgusting. Um, and it's actually basically something that's moldy. Anyway, moving onwards. So we have a maxi dress here. So this one is also in a six and by golly, Miss Polly, has that got high slit. I may have phalange out all over the internet right now. Hopefully not. Um, this one is more like a bustier style. So you can't quite see because it's got this over fabric with this cowl neckline. Look at me whacking out the technical terms. You go, Glen Coco. But I'll show you the inside. Can we see it's got those boning lines? Um, so that will keep the structure nice and shapely. And also if you did have boobs, that would keep it in. Um, obviously don't have that, but it's fine. I do not mind. It's in this beautiful like satiny, shiny fabric, but it's quite a lightweight satin, which I like for the maxi skirt bit because otherwise I feel like if it's too heavy, it won't flow nicely. Um, I've absolutely no clue how I'm gonna look in this, but their model, is it Sophia? Is that the name of their model? She is 10 out of 10. Like, fair play, bubba girl. You are sexy. Sexy. Yeah, this is definitely a sexy piece. Oh my God, this was probably the piece that I was most excited about. But then I feel like because I was most excited about it, it's gonna be the most disappointing. I feel like life, things are always like that. So when you order loads of stuff from somewhere and you're like, the piece that you ordered, all of the, like the reason you made that order ends up being the piece that you hate. The pieces that you ordered for the sake of it are the ones that you love and you end up keeping. But, okay. So, this is definitely more of a glitzy dress, but it's still not like mega glitzy. It's the right amount. So, we have this. Now it's in the neckline that I like. I love a tri tri triangle neckline um, just because it gets out my chest and we know, although I don't have anything there, I love to get out my lack of chest because I love it. I genuinely like wouldn't have bigger boobs if I could choose to. Like, I don't want them to grow. I like how them have it. I let them how they are. We've got adjustable straps again, so you can get out or get out as little as you want. And then can we see, is this like, oh, matches my nails? Mm, not really. Coppery, bronzy, goldy dress that's got this sequin pattern, which I'm hoping is flattering for the body shape. And then it's even got these like little gold baubles. I'm not sure if you can see that. And it goes to, I think this would be more of like a medaxi length then a midi um, and it even has a little cutout because it is that bit longer if you don't do the cutout you end up having to waddle but no this is absolutely beautiful it's very stretchy i feel like i maybe should have got a smaller size because it is quite stretchy but we'll see oh also i do appreciate how oh polly at the side of their website on every single item they tell you what size the model's wearing and also what um what the fit is like so it's like oh if you're in between sizes size up now i've got some more satin now this is beautiful and i hope it looks beautiful on me oh my oh my goodness oh my goodness look look oh okay so you like hook it oh this is different to what i've realized oh okay yeah gals in love Hello. Okay, sorry. I will come back to showing you. So it is a triangle shape. Just said I love that. Then it's got the most beautiful crystal work along it that's actually on like strips. So it looks so expensive. Wowzers. Okay. And then it's this kind of like satiny color. Color? fabric in the most beautiful pale lilac like we all know in 2018 i went through my lilac phase and maybe this is going to bring me into it for 2019 then the back is just like this it is quite a mini length but you basically just need to attach these with these little hooks to 
these hooks at the back so that's fab because they have different levels so depending on how long you want it or how low down you can edit that oh my gosh this fabric i may as well continue with the lilac yes here we go wait no this isn't lilac this is much more purple but like down the purple spectrum so this one is like it was like a last minute choice that i was like well maybe that would look good basically it's in a size six it's purple it's a definite medaxi and as you can see it kind of just looks like a shriveled up old woman um or man or person thing um but once it's on obviously it stretches out and that's fabulous because it will fit um like a glove which i can't wait it's got a little arm hole i love a one shoulder i think it's really flattering and yeah this fabric's really nice and this color like i'm loving all these bright colors or like rich colors you know it makes stuff look bougie and expensive and a rich color but not rich in money <laughs> because it's budget friendly yes thank you we've come to the final piece now i wasn't aware that opoly actually do have some less dressy pieces that are more appropriate for your everyday wear that includes like really really beautiful coats they literally had the most beautiful teddy coat i'll link it down below i nearly put that in my basket but i was like misha you already have like four teddy coats slow your horses but i did get another cohort that's a little bit more like cash so oh my gosh this looks absolutely tiny but it does stretch so don't worry like when i looked at that i was like hello this kind of looks like it would be a polo this is actually a skirt r.i.p my butt i was about to say a rude word then but no no we're keeping it pg and this is a midi skirt yes i basically got another midi skirt that is in this beautiful ribbed fabric but this is beautiful ribbed fabric now mum forced me to get an extra small i feel like i should have got a small if i look like a stuffed sausage i look like a stuffed sausage it's fine um but no absolutely beautiful color they do again have this in other shades um the quality of that is stunning and then I still have a co-ward. So, oh my god, if this looks cute, I could wear this today. Let's see. Um, okay. Now, this is the top. Oh, also, another thing I noticed on the website, if you're buying a co-ward, you buy it as one price, but you can select what size you want each bit. So, say I had like a four, I'm pretty like a four on top, but like a six six-ish down bottom so i probably should have ordered the top in an extra small and the bottom in a small um but this is a little cropped kind of like jumpery top so it has a turtleneck um and it's in the exact same color and then it's just got these long sleeves and it just looks really nice and cozy yep i mean this with a teddy coat is just going to be a vibe and yeah so they do also have like different leggings and body suits and some pieces that you could definitely wear more often rather than just special occasions uh, because we all know i'm a grandma and i don't really go out that much but we had to when i was at this event write down um our new year's resolution and it wasn't supposed to be like a deep one like i have a full list of new year's resolutions that are a little bit more like deep but my new year's resolution that was a little bit more jokey was to get out of my onesie more often because i'm always that person every weekend who is at home doing work filming editing not going out sitting inside which is totally fine and i love doing that but i do feel like i should push myself outside my comfort zone act a bit more my age i'm only 19 so you know live a little and yeah that's my new resolution for you all let me know yours down below i always find it really interesting because you guys give me some inspo as to what i should do as a new resolution anyway so that is all the pieces that i picked up from opoly i am like hands down impressed so yes i'm gonna wrap up this super haul sunday i hope you guys all have an amazing rest of the weekend i cannot believe that christmas is basically a day slash two days away slash three days away depending on how you guys count it considering this is going up on sunday i would say christmas is a day away because i don't count the day that it is on and i don't count the day that i'm on yeah 
let me know what do you guys do at christmas time it's just gonna be the four of us and alfie so the five of us um and yeah there will be a what i got for christmas coming on christmas day hopefully i'm gonna be really excited i'm gonna want to share with you guys sorry if you don't like that sort of video but i know that is a lot of requests good ones and yeah we will hopefully be vlogging christmas as well so you guys can see how we do it in the grams household which is really exciting so i'm gonna love you guys and leave you make sure to do a like and subscribe if you are new then hello stick around because it's going to be a lot of fun and exciting content for 2019 please comment down below and let me know what you want to see in 2019 and where you want to see my channel go and yeah Thanks for all your support this year. I feel like I'm already ending as though it's like the end of the year. It's definitely not, but I'm going to shut up. Do it up here. Give a like, subscribe. Check the links in the description box. And yeah, thanks a Polly for sending over these pieces. But again, hand on heart, being 100% honest. Toodle pip, love you guys lots, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Mwah.